In this tutorial, I show you how you can link your Google Analytics account to your Google Search Console. Uh, the Google Search Console is a pretty powerful tool when it comes to seeing which users are searching on Google and come to your website or which other websites link to your store. I will show you now how you can access the Google Webmaster Tools and how you verify your site first, and then what you see in the Webmaster Tools. You find the Google Webmaster Tools when you search on Google for Google Webmaster Tools. It will be the first hit, of course, or you go to www.google.com slash webmaster slash tools. I have already one property here. I'm going to add another one, which is my store. Uh, my store address uh, is headsandboxes.myshopify.com. I click Add. And then I have to verify that this store is really my store. And I go to Alternative Methods. And I'm going to add an HTML tag to my store. I go to my, I go to my Shopify online store sales channel. I go to Themes. And I have to add this tag to my themes. I edit my HTML CSS. And because I have right now a password on my store, I'm going to add this to the password liquid layout file. If you have no password, you're going to add this to the theme liquid file. As you can see, I have tried already before to verify that this store is my store with Google Search Console. I just removed the whole link right now to show it to you again for the purpose of this tutorial. So I'm going to add the new uh, verification tag. I'm going to add this in the head section. So here's head beginning and here's the head end and somewhere in between here, probably pretty on the top, I put it underneath the theme color. I add the Google site verification. And I have it from here. It, it didn't change from the last time, so I don't have to save anything. But when you're done, you hit save. And then you click verify or confirm. I'm going to change this to English later on. It confirmed that I am actually the owner of, of this uh, site. And it did this because it checked in the background, it opened my store in the background. And if I'm not the owner of the store, and if I cannot change my content, then it cannot verify that I'm the owner. So I've verified that I'm the owner because I changed the content that is displayed when the store is opened. I hit next and I'm in the search console. Okay, now we have it in English and the search console or the Google Webmaster tools are very good for site owners to see what content Google is crawling from your site and what other sites are linking to your site and how important your site is to Google and the Google index. Google is giving you quite a bit of information what they're saving about your site. Right now, the uh, Google Search Console doesn't detect any data because my shop is still password protected. So it can only see the one and only site, which is the password site. If I remove the password from my store, then Google will start crawling the rest of the sites and it will probably find my, my blogs and my collections and my products and so on. So once I've removed this, I check back a few days later at the search console and just make sure that everything is in place. Normally, because you're with Shopify, everything should be in place. And the reason is that Shopify is doing quite a good job at this. Uh, you can see also uh, what other people were searching for and, and how Google sees your site, see any search patterns and so on. Right now, there is nothing indexed. 
And I'm gonna switch now to my personal website. It's just up for a few days, so it's not really long term, but I can show you. I can show you the structured data. I don't have any rich cards at the moment. I can show you if there are any improvements I have to do to my page. Right now, there is not really something. Definitely, I can see the search analytics, what searches lead to, to which sites and how is my performance on Google search which links from other websites come to my site. Uh, the, in, uh, the, the internal links, uh, the index status, I see how many pages are indexed by Google. If there are any blocked resources, if I want to remove any URLs that are in the index, I can remove them here. I see the crawl statistics from Google, if they crawl anything, if they, if, if there's anything that is not working, any errors, then I see them here. I had another block system first and I changed this. So I haven't fixed these links yet because the, the portfolio is not really interesting, but I see it here that uh, crawling is not working as expected. I see the statistics. Uh, I see security issues and so on. And then I can go ahead to my analytics and I can link my search console to my Google Analytics property. And I do this by going to the admin panel and I can do this in the property settings. I go to the very bottom and adjust search console, or I go to the admin panel to the all products linking. I go to the bottom and I link the search console. So currently there is uh, no search console linked. I go to edit and I link the site. And as soon as I've done this, I can go back to my reporting and the search console will show me in a nice overview, the most important and prominent data from people searching for my store. This is just a nice addition. Uh, usually you have to use the, the webmaster tools and the search console from Google if you run your own website, but Shopify is doing actually a great job at keeping the website up and running and error free. So that part is not really relevant to you. The part that is relevant to you is who is searching on Google for things that lead to your store. So that's maybe something that you should check out. And that's the reason why I think it's valuable to link the search console to your analytics account.